All right guys, we are back today with a new car update. This is, I have not made a video like this in quite a while, probably a year or so. Um, but what we have here today, as the title says, is well, a new car here. It's a new to me, 2003 Toyota Avalon. Uh, I was not looking for this car, it just happened to pop up on Marketplace. It was like I hop on Marketplace one day, and it was just in the recommended. I clicked on it and I just inquired on it and um, the rest is history basically. I acquired this from pretty much the original owner uh, who happened to buy it from his friend uh, or brother-in-law or something like that in 2005. So the guy had it for the greater half of 20 years. A uh, little old Asian guy that owned it um, took meticulous care of it. I guess it was time for an upgrade. Uh, but going on to this one here, uh, as you can see, it is in gold. It's riding on basically a brand new set of Michelin tires, which is cool. Uh, it rides really nice. It's nice that we don't have to put tires on it. Uh, for a car that costs around $3,000 these days, you're doing a few things to them. Um, that's basically what I paid for this. Uh, it needs a few little minor things, which I've pretty much taken care of most of them. When I bought it, the check engine light was on for a uh, O2 sensor. That got replaced. Uh, it needs a new door handle if you care about cosmetics because uh, the door handle is broke there which I paid 15 bucks for a new one that's color matched on eBay that'll be going on at some point soon and we have a little dent right there but other than that I've always kind of liked these cars I never really thought I'd own one but here we are uh, with it and I have to say for a 2003 now this is a 21 year old car at the time of this video this thing rides and drives tighter than probably any other new car I've had or it's right up there with the new cars basically I've owned very impressed with this car and I know you know it depends on who owns these things and takes care of them um, it probably couldn't have been owned by anybody that would have taken better care of this car like I said he just he's had it for so long he got a new I think a Subaru Outback or something like that um, but yeah this thing just sat he had a one car garage and it had to go um, it was only on marketplace for like four hours when I found this thing and uh, well, I do have to say the day I bought it, there was a line of people trying to buy this car. Um, so I kind of got lucky. Like I said, I wasn't really looking for it. I probably didn't even need it, but it's cool. I wanted to get the chance to own one of these. And like I said, with the ownership history, this thing kind of is a cream puff. There is some Michigan rust on it here and there. I do apologize for the wind. I do think the audio might be kind of jacked up throughout this video. Um, like I said, I don't make these a whole lot, so I figured I'd get it while the car is clean and detailed. Uh, going down here, this is some of the visible rust the car does have on the uh, passenger side. Coming down to the wheels here, as you can see, they're pretty much pit-free. There's no corrosion or anything like that. Like I said, it's got the nice new tires. This car rides like a tank. No space rattles or anything. I'm super impressed. This one is the XLS as well. And traditional used car fashion, I gave it a nice full paint correction this thing is looking as good as it can look uh, i'm going to try to pop that dent out though at some point but again coming on to the rust some of the imperfections that's about this what this car has as far as that goes um i'm going to try to do some diy rust repair on that at some point but let's go check out the inside like i said this will be the new uh runaround car i do have another vehicle uh, as well i do need to get a probably an update on it. i've had that for almost a year now but uh Go over to the interior, check it out. Typical mid 2000s Toyota. It's uh, very well built. It's overbuilt, if you ask me. Um, you're coming right out of the 90s here, so this is like supreme build quality. Nice leather uh, padding in here. You get wood grain and all that stuff. You have a nice little storage cubby. Uh, you have the works as far as a 2003 loaded car goes um, and then stepping on into the interior what really had caught my eye when I bought this was the bench seat you do not see a lot of these with the bench seat piqued my interest it's kind of cool to have something like that um, you know if you have an old Bodie car like this you really don't want a floor shooter I mean it just adds to the total comfort of this thing um, power driver seat we have memory as well uh, what's crazy is that this car doesn't have the uh, lumbar support most of these have lumbar I don't know what package this is missing. It doesn't have it. But uh, with that said, there's no big motor in here to stuff the seat all up. So the thing is quite plush. But just looking at the leather, look at how clean that is. I really don't care what kind of car it is. I don't care what color it is. As long as it's clean um, and well-preserved, I'm a sucker for that. So <laughs> here we are in the uh, 
ultimate spec of Toyota Avalons. Gold on gold, baby. With the wood grained wheel. So we'll give it a start up. It does have a little bit of an exhaust leak. I'm going to try to DIY that. Um, I don't want to get too carried away with fixing this thing. Um, so I did the O2 sensor on it and gave it a nice detail, which really didn't even need. Uh, I do have the original floor mats out of it right now. I'm just cleaning those up, but you see the carpet is spotless. Passenger seat, I mean, it's just super cool to find something like this. It's got that old leather smell. You have lighted vanity mirrors. I got sunshade right there. Sunglasses holder. And not a single thing is not broken in this car. Everything works. Everything has held up remarkably compared to other brands, possibly. Um, the only thing you can really tell maybe is the steering wheel. It's got a little bit of wear, but uh, that's not too crazy. Um, coming to the gauge cluster, you have your typical mid-2000s gauge cluster. Give your all your information over here, your distance to empty, your clock, your, your calendar, which is hilarious because this calendar ran out of year, so it can only go up to 2021. Uh, it looks like we're on the right calendar year. I think that's 2002 we are currently on. Uh, then the outside uh, temperature. This one only has 106,000 miles on it. That's another thing that really enticed me with this car. I, this is probably arguably one of the better engines Toyota has made. Um, 100,000 on this car really shouldn't be a whole lot at all. I've seen these things with 500,000 miles on them. Um, so we'll see how long this one hangs around for. As of now, it thing it rides amazing. I'll give it a quick little rev. Get a little exhaust leak. It has some various exhaust leaks, but like I'll do some DIY on it. It is a little raspy. Um, do have the JBL audio? I had to say it's a seven speaker audio. Uh, I ended up replacing the rear subwoofer in the deck back there because that paper was uh, obviously sun faded as expected so I put a new JBL in it and uh, we have a nice full working sound system um, it does sound pretty damn well uh, for 2003 I do think it keeps up with a lot of modern sound systems today um, we do have dual zone climate no heated seats or nothing like that um, auto climate control the air conditioning in this car is ice cold uh, very nice to have a little Bluetooth, uh, I guess, receiver in there I had laying around from a previous car. Um, but yeah, that's about the front, as far as the front goes. Uh, it came with a copy of the window sticker. I don't know if it has the original one anywhere, but uh, there's the window sticker. So it's been a Michigan car its whole life. Here's the options it does have. So it, I think it's missing a few things, but it's got the main ones that we obviously do want, like the JBL audio and you know the dual zone and all that stuff. Uh, the previous owner was quite sad to get rid of this car, um, so I could tell it was it was very well taken care of. I'll pop it going to the trunk, I guess. Uh, it's gonna be a quick video. I'm not gonna clip anything together here. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what we have now. It's too cool of a car to not put on the channel. We have a locking gas cam as well. Uh, let's see if we can open the doors up here. I don't know if they're all locked. I'm gonna have to get used to the Toyota door locking. Um, back here, same materials follow through to the rear. Super, super nice. I'm doing some running around right now, but as you can see the back seat. I mean, 21 year old leather. This stuff is probably never been sat in. Um, it is. It is clean as you can get for a $3,000 car. Um, you just don't find deals like this anymore in Marketplace, unfortunately. Um, so when they pop up, you kind of have to hop on them if you can. Uh, but coming to the rear, as you can see, it does have the uh, accessory, or whatever you want to call it. It was on the window sticker, the Avalon floor mat, uh, which covers the other floor mat. So there is that. Again, looks pretty damn spotless. I just lost my license plate. A screw. Unfortunately, that thread is stripped in there, so that thing is the only thing holding that on. And that is actual metal threads into the trunk. So I don't know if I'll have to get that re tapped or just put a plug in there, like a body plug. I'll uh, the passenger side real fast. Same treatments as the uh, driver. Power, storage. You can tell the guy was a single guy. He never, he obviously, look at this thing. Uh, this thing is a. Uh, Pretty nice cream 
off again. We have a exhaust leak. It's kind of getting old. I'll probably end up replacing that resonator up front. Uh, we do have headlights, fog lights, and daytime running lights. I believe when you put it in drive. So we'll get under the hood here. I'll show you under the hood. And we'll wrap the video up. Hopefully, there's some interest on this car. Um, they seem to be the quite, like I said, quite popular in the Toyota community. But uh, there's the engine humming away, just nice. Dual overhead cam. It's got very nice power, very refined. So, it's got a newer battery, I think. Um, then the O2 sensor, as you can see, right down there. That was our culprit for the check engine look. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you what we have in our possession right now. We're slowly, but surely, turning into a Japanese driveway. So uh, I'll probably do an update maybe on the next car I have that I've had for a while. Um, but as usual, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll hopefully talk to you all later.